Hey, it's Majenica. Wanted to show you these really awesome crucible cookware cast iron skillets. So, got these in and I'm pretty excited because I love cast iron. Like, I have a ton of it and I love it. It's good for so many things. Um, down here is all of your different things. It's good for gas. It's good for electric. It has good heat induction. You can use it um, on, in the the induction ovens, on your glass stove tops. Some people me, some people don't like to use it on the glass stove tops just because they don't want it to scratch. But you know what? If it's a good glass stove top, it won't scratch. And if you use it right, it won't scratch. Ovens, you better believe these are good in the oven. I bake in these all the time. I bake cornbread, I bake dinner rolls, bread, casseroles, you name it, I bake it. Campfires, yes, so much yes. Um, you can use skillets over campfires, griddles, they have, there, there's just a ton of different cast iron types that you can use over campfires. So absolutely these are great over campfires. Now, um, the first thing that you're going to see when you open a box, which I'm sitting here trying to open these little suckers one-handed because I'm holding the um, camera. And as you can see, I'm just not, hey, okay, not getting it done today. Um, Crucible sends you a couple of these really, really sticky candles handle covers, I should say, to go over your, as you can see on the box, though, it'll go over your, your handles. These are made out of silicone to protect your hands. I know a lot of us will just use a, a pot holder, and that's great, and you know, that's fine too, but these are just a little bit more convenient than a pot holder, um, simply because pot holders can slip off, you can drop your skillet, then you've wasted all your good food. Um, you can see inside where it has that nice grip on there to hold onto the handle really nicely. Um, so they gave you a couple of different sizes there. Um, so let's go over here and take a look at the skillets themselves. And I haven't went through the skillets. I'm doing this right along with you. So we can see what kind of cuteness we got going on here. Oh my goodness, look at this little tiny... This is perfect for like one egg. So this is like a, for like if you're making an egg Sammy or sandwich, sorry, I call them Sammies. So this would be perfect for that kind of a situation there. These are so awesome. Now, I'm not sure if these are pre-seasoned um, or not, but uh, if they are not, which I don't think they are, but if they're not, they're super easy to season. You just want to give them a nice coating of oil and bake them in the oven at like a low temperature of around 250 for like an hour or two. Super easy to season. And then that'll make them nonstick for you and protect them. That is just the cutest thing ever. Look at that. Cute, cute, cute. So that would be also ideal for like a one hamburger situation or like a one patty situation and pretty much anything. So like a singular type thing, one egg, one sausage patty, anything singular. So that's pretty awesome there. I like that. <laughs> that's just, it's just adorable. And again, don't forget, these can go in the oven, any of these 14. So next up we have, this one here is, it's a little bit deeper. So this one can be used. Um, this one would be nice, a, a little dessert pan for like a smallish cookie, like a, a pan cookie of some sort. Um, that would be an ideal. Let's, let's see what these sizes look here. We have, it looks like your little one here is going to be a 5.1 inch. Yes, a 5.1 inch. This one here is going to be a 6.1 inch. So, yeah, that will make a nice little pan cookie. And as you can see, that will fit nicely right in there. 
Next up, we're going to have the 7.9 inch skillet, which is also going to be a bit deeper than your 6.1 inch. So as the, the diameter goes up, the thickness the, or the depth also will go up. And you're going to see the little dings in the trivet. You know, that is perfectly normal in all cast iron. You are not going to find any cast iron that is going to be smooth because that's just not the way it is. You know, you're, you're going to have these little, you know, divots in any cast iron that you come across that is in no way indicative of quality. That's just the way it is. I mean, you know, you, you could have the, the utmost high end cast iron and you're going to have those divots. It, it, it just is. So, here is your 7.9 inch skillet, which as you can see, is a bit more thick than the 6.1. This would be good for a smaller batch of cornbread or something of that nature. Um, or a small batch of dinner rolls, say for two or three people. Um, or a small, like if you don't wanna make like bread in a loaf pan, put your bread in here and make a round loaf. Um, that would be fine as well, I've done that. Um, you know, you've got you know, your nice bottom here, nice and flat, get your handles. You've got hooks, or little hook holes for all of your handles, so you can always hang these if you have your racks. Me, I have not been able to convince the husband to hang racks for me, so I have cabinets still. I would love racks. So if you're lucky enough to have racks, these have the ability to hang. Um, so this is your 7.9. And again, the others fit inside. Now on to the next. This is your last one, and this one is going to be your 10 inch skillet. So again, a little bit thicker than your 7.9. Same thing, you've got your hanging ability here. This one is your bigger one. You're gonna be able to fit a few different patties in here. You're gonna be able to fit a full batch of cornbread in here, a full batch of dinner rolls in here, probably like an eight, probably eight dinner rolls, uh, depending on the kind you make. If, you, if you're like me, you make them from scratch, you got your big old dinner rolls, probably eight is gonna be your max. Um, some of the frozen dinner rolls you get, you maybe fit 12 in there. I do them from scratch, I'm gonna be lucky to get eight. Um, but a full batch of cornbread would fit in there. Um, maybe homemade cake. I've baked cake. My father-in-law likes me to make homemade molasses cake. Might be able to get one in there. I'm not sure. I think I've used a 12 inch skillet for that. So I'm not sure if I would get a full recipe of that in there or not. I might have to cut it down a bit to make that fit. But, um, but you could do cakes in here. You could do all kinds of things, eggs, bacon, Seriously, cast iron is amazing. This stuff is awesome. It can be used for so much stuff. It's, it's just, it's the bomb, I'm telling you. Um, there's so many ways to take care of it. Uh, again, with these, a light coating of, sorry for the cat hair. I have cats galore, as you can see. There's just cat hair everywhere. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but uh, a light coating of oil throw it in the oven at 250 for about an hour to two hours and you'll be nice and seasoned. Should be non-stick. If you're like me, you're gonna freak out and still spray this thing every time you use it. That's just what I do. Um, but these are gonna be nice. Th these are awesome. I'm excited for them. These are great. Crucible is a great brand. Definitely go on Amazon, check them out. Uh, great pricing. Uh, you know, price point is spot on. You know, especially for a set of four, you know, they, the, the it's, it's definitely very, very good value. So definitely, definitely check it out. Thank you.